Hello students. Today we're going to learn about Avon, an American international manufacturer and direct selling company in beauty, household and personal care categories. Let's know more about this company, Avon Products Incorporation, known as Avon, is an American international manufacturer and direct selling company in beauty, household and personal care categories. It is a leading global beauty company and one of the world's largest direct sellers. Avon has $10 billion in annual revenue. Its product line includes beauty, fashion and home products with such well-recognized brand names as Avon Color, A New, Skin So Soft, Advanced Techniques, Avon Naturals and Mark. Avon Products is a multi-level marketing company. The company's CEO is Sherlyn S. McCoy who was appointed to that position in April 2012. The former CEO, Andrea Jung, became the executive chairman of the board. In 1886, David H. McConnell started the business in a small office at Chambers Street, Manhattan, New York. In 1892, McConnell changed the company name when his business partner, who was living in California, suggested that he call the business the California Perfume Company because of the great abundance of flowers in California. In 1894, Alexander D. Henderson, the vice president and treasurer, joined the company and helped to shape its policies and assist in its growth. On June 16, 1909, McConnell and Henderson signed an agreement of corporation for the California Perfume Company in the state of New Jersey. The California Perfume Company in Corporation of New York filed their first trademark application for Avon on June 3, 1932 with the UP USPTO. Part of the description for goods and services provided to the USPTO included perfumes, toilet waters, powders and rouge, compacts, lipsticks and other toiletry products. First, use and commercial use for Avon California Perfume Company was on September 1, 1929. Registration was granted on August 38, 1932. The trademark is owned by Avon Products Incorporation of New York. Avon sells products in over 140 countries. Brazil is the company's largest market, passing the United States in 2010. Avon entered the Chinese market in 1990, but legal changes in 1998 forced Avon to sell only through physical stores called beauty boutiques. The company received China's first license for direct selling in 2006. Avon purchased Silpara, a direct seller of silver jewelry, in 2010 for $650 million. In May 2012, perfume company Koti offered $24.75 a share for Avon, which was nearly 20% above Avon's stock price at the time. While Fox Business Network reported that Avon delayed the process and Coty withdrew its offer, earlier reports revealed that Avon actually rejected the bid, stating at the time the board concluded and it still believes that Coty's indication of interest is opportunistic and not in the best interest of Avon's shareholders. Avon uses both door-to-door -door salespeople and brochures to ad advertise its products. Avon training centers help women who want to become Avon representatives selling beauty products, jewelry, accessories and clothing. The Avon training centers can have a small retail section with skincare products such as creams, serums, makeup and washes. There are classroom areas where the representatives learn about the products and sales techniques. Each Avon representative is an independent sales representative running their own business. Some of the brands include Avon, Avon Naturals, Skin So Soft and Mark. The principles of Avon are to provide individuals an opportunity to earn in support of their well-being and happiness, to serve families throughout the world with products of the highest quality backed by a guarantee of satisfaction, to render a service to customers that is outstanding in its helpfulness and courtesy, to share with others the rewards of growth and success, to maintain and cherish the friendly spirit of Avon.
one products incorporation recognized the beauty of corporate responsibility nearly a century before the term became part of the cultural lexicon from the very beginning in 1886 Forward thinking Avon founder David H. McConnell committed his company to meet fully the obligations of corporate citizenship by contributing to the well being of society and the environment in which it functions. Words that still guide the company more than 125 years later. Avon is committed to the mission to do well by doing good, managing its business enterprise to the highest standards while leveraging its unique capacity to mobilize and engage people to be agents of change in their lives, communities, and the world. The core content of this corporate responsibility report represents the three pillars of Avon's corporate mission and the focus of the company's corporate responsibility efforts and achievements. The empowerment of women, sustainability and philanthropy also covered are the key areas embedded in the business enterprise that form the foundation of a good corporate citizen. Governance, ethics, stakeholder engagement, public policy efforts, workplace safety and commitment to diversity. Avon has emerged as the company for women and has done so in a manner which empowers women in a number of ways. Avon's projections indicate a major restructuring of the company that includes downsizing to restore growth. Andrea Jung has also recognized a lapse between senior management and consumers and plans to delayer the company as to unify ties between the key decision makers and the customer. Yet another unforeseeable item that Avon sees in the future is the role women have in executive positions. Jung hopes to be an example to all and has set a standard of empowerment for women everywhere. In the next 10 years, Jung said she believes there will be a comparable exponential change in the number of women in top positions across all of corporate women in business. Not only has Avon empowered women through its overall mission and values, but by example. So, students we got to know about the various aspects of Avon. We went through the company's history to its present market scenario. Hope the information about the company was useful and have a good day ahead.